how's it going guys welcome back into another video and today uh you saw, saw a few days ago i did my top 10 favorite films of 2021 so far and mass came in at number one easily by far one of the best pieces of filmmaking i've ever seen in my life but i'm not going to talk about that here that is for that video which you all have already seen today though since we are still at the midway point of the year there's a lot more films coming out this year it's you know a lot of stuff got pushed back from last year so today we are talking about my top 10 most anticipated films for the rest of the year i'm going to hit you with five honorable mentions and then we're going to hit the top 10 now look i'm not really going to be able to talk a lot about these films because we haven't seen them yet so i'm going to give my initial thoughts what i'm excited about and why they are where they are on the list but before we get into that go down below in the comments and let me know what is your most anticipated film of this year so far i want to hear what y'all are excited about i think a lot of us will have the same few maybe up at the top but i want to hear from you down below so i think without further ado let's just get into it. i'm going to hit five honorable mentions i'm just going to whip through them real quick and then we'll get into the top 10. First honorable mention is Top Gun Maverick. Still anticipating that one. Really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Very action-packed. Uh, another honorable mention is The King's Man. Finally, hopefully, this one comes out this year. I'm very excited to see this prequel film. Uh, next one is The Green Knight, which originally I was not looking forward to because I thought it was something that it wasn't. And then I saw the trailer and I was like, oh no, this looks sick. So I'm very much looking forward to that one. Then we got Last Night in Soho. I'm not fully on, like, I don't love horror, as you guys know, but it is Edgar Wright, Anya Taylor-Joy. It looks interesting, and I trust Edgar Wright with, he's one of my favorite directors, so that's why it's on this list. If it wasn't Edgar Wright, it might not be, but I, you gotta be excited for when Edgar Wright drops a project. So, Last Night in Soho. And then another honorable mention is The Last Duel which I believe is Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, Adam Driver, and I think Affleck and Damon wrote it. I think I could be completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. We don't really know anything about it. We've seen a few very blurry set photos, and that's kind of all we know. But it looks exciting and intriguing, so yeah, I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be cool, but obviously we'll see more as it gets closer. But let's get into the top 10. And coming in at number 10 is Dear Evan Hansen. So I love musicals. I, in the Heights is one of my favorites of the year so far. If you all watch my, la, my my top 10 list. And this looks great. I've never seen Evan Hansen, uh, Dear Evan Hansen. I've never been exposed to any of the music. This is exactly the same as with me and Hamilton. Um, I, I don't, I am going in completely clean. But Ben Platt is back as Evan Hansen, which... I'm not going to get into it, but y'all are freaking crazy on Twitter. He looks fine. That's all I'm going to say. Um, the music sounds great. I I'm very excited for it. Uh, just name value alone, I know it's going to be good. Uh, and then, of course, you got Ben Platt back in his signature role. So I trust this. I think it's going to be fantastic. And it's I'm very excited for it. And it, co and it comes out the day after my birthday. Uh, my birthday is the 23rd of September, and it comes out on the 24th. So what a great birthday present. Very much looking forward to it. It comes at number 10 on my list. Coming in at number 9 is Suicide Squad. Uh, it comes out around August. I The trailers got me hyped. Uh, James Gunn is such a great director of superhero and action type stuff. You got gr a fantastic cast with Margot Robbie back as Harley Quinn. Idris Elba looks like he's going to be one of the lead characters as well, which is great. And it looks like a Guardians of the Galaxy, but for the DC. Uh, and it's got a R rating. I'm so excited for this one. It just looks incredible. It's going to take what was the absolutely brutal Suicide Squad and actually make the Suicide Squad more palatable and more fun, which I'm very excited about. It comes in at number nine on my list coming in number eight is the harder they fall which comes out on netflix sometime in the fall and the trailer just dropped a few days ago and that's why this is so high up on my list because i we had seen you know like a set photo or, or like a, a cast photo or like still or two um when netflix did their whole oh hey here's all the stuff we got coming out this year but this cast is incredible. Regina King, Lakeith Stanfield, Delroy Lindo, Idris Elba, just to name a few. And it looks like an awesome, badass, like, western. 
with these characters. I, I am incredibly excited to see this. After I saw the trailer, I was instantly sold. Looks absolutely amazing. And it, Netflix is going to have some bangers this year. We're, we're not done talking about Netflix films. Um, I'm really looking forward to this one. I think it's going to be very, very well done. And it comes at number eight on my list. Coming at number seven is the French French Dispatch. Uh, Y'all know I love Wes Anderson. He's one of my favorite directors working today. And the cast here is incredible. Timothy Chalamet, among others. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but comes out the same day as Dune and Last Night in Soho and Jackass 4. That's going to be a day at the theater, everybody. Like, all day. We're going to be at the theater all day uh, when this comes out, I think, in October I think 24th. Um, but I love Wes Anderson's quirky style. You saw it in the first trailer for this. It looks just like that. And it's about journalism, which is awesome because I'm a journalist myself. And it's going to be a fun one. I'm really looking forward to it. It's Wes Anderson. I'm always looking forward to a new Wes Anderson project. And it comes in at number seven on my list. Coming to number six is Tick, Tick, Boom. So one that I had heard about a few months ago. Obviously, we we'd heard about it a few months ago. But we finally got our first trailer about two-ish weeks ago. It looks brilliant. Uh, starring Andrew Garfield, the directorial de debut for Lin-Manuel Miranda about the person that wrote and created Rent. What more could you want? I mean, it looks fantastic. It looks like it's like a autobiographical like film musical that he has now written about himself, uh, the creator of Rent. And... Uh, Andrew Garfield plays play, plays uh, him. I, I forget his name, but y'all know who I'm talking about. And I'm excited. I'm excited for this one. I was excited right when I heard that, oh, hey, Lin Manuel Miranda is directing a musical starring Andrew Garfield. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm sold. Bring it. But then we also, we actually saw the trailer, and the trailer looks absolutely fan freaking tastic. This is another Netflix film that is coming out later this year, and I am so excited for it. And it comes in at number six on my list. But we're not done with Netflix. Coming in at number five is Don't Look Up, which is Adam McKay's newest film starring the likes of Jennifer Lawrence, Leonardo DiCaprio, just to name the, the main two. But this cast is absolutely stacked. Don't have it off the top of my head, but I remember it's absolutely stacked. And it is about two scientists that have to go on like a publicity tour about this asteroid that's going to come and destroy the Earth. Um... And it's directed by Adam McKay. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let let's let's get it. I think this is gonna be whole. It's uh, supposed to be like a funny comedy, kind of dark comedy. Bring it. I'm ready. Adam McKay's style is is absolutely incredible. This cast looks just as incredible, and this is gonna be one of the best of the year. I think. I truly believe that. It's going to be absolutely fantastic, and it comes in at number five on my list. Coming in at number four, finally. Finally, it's coming out. I'm so excited. It's no time to die. Um, I, what do I really have to say? Uh, the trailers look phenomenal. It's the swan song for Daniel Craig as James Bond. You've got Remy Malek as the villain, which actually looks eerily scary <laughs> in this role. And it is Bond. It's classic Bond. The trailers have all been phenomenal. We've waited over a year for it. It was supposed to come out last year. It's been delayed all the way until I think October as well um, this year. So bring it. No time to die. James Bond. I love the Craig Bond films, um, even the bad ones. And this is going to be looking like a, a, a banger. So I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's bring it. And it comes in at number four on my list. Coming in at number three is The Eternals. So at the beginning of the year, I did my most anticipated, and this was at number 10, I believe, if I, if I remember correctly. And now it's up to three, and you know why? Chloe, mother effin, Zhao. That's why. Best director at the Oscars for Nomadland, which won Best Picture. We've gotten the first trailer. It looks beautiful. She did a lot of it practically on real sets or on location. The cast is absolutely stacked, and this film is going to shatter everything that we know about the MCU. To say I'm excited is 
an understatement. I am just overly, just so filled with emotion, just wanting to see this film. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. It's going to be gorgeous. I trust Chloe Zhao with, with everything inside me. And this cast is, is stacked. And we get the two Starks, Rob and Jon Snow. And let's do it. Let's do it. And it comes at number three on my list. Coming at number two, mentioned this a little bit earlier when we were talking about Last Night in Soho, Dune. Uh, Dune is at number two, same number two as it was at the beginning of the year. It's going to be an epic. It's, what is it, like with Lord of the Rings mixed with Star Wars is what it is supposed to be. It looks absolutely incredible. The, 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 the trailers that we've gotten have been jaw-dropping. The cast here, I mean, we, we are getting some films with some absolutely stacked casts. Just absolutely incredible casts so this one is another example of that we've got another timmy chalamet movie here oscar isaac uh, jason momoa dave batista rebecca ferguson zendaya just to name a few there's so many more in here as well but it's everyone's top two i think it's dune i mean it denny villeneuve arrival prisoners you know i bring it do it. I want it. I'm very excited about this one. And it is number two on my list. But number one is freaking obvious if you know me. It's Spider-Man No Way Home. I, the rumors, the possibility, the, the, the things that could happen. Now, I don't have any insider information. I don't know what's going to happen in this film. But just on the potential alone, yeah, Sinister Six, all three Spider-Men from the different universes... If there's even a shred of chance that any of that could happen, oh my god, I want to see it. So this one is by far my be-all, end-all, most anticipated of this year. I am going to love this film. Even if it's not any of that, it's still going to be a Spider-Man film, and I love uh, I love Tom Holland. And we got that epic cliffhanger at the end of No Way Home. Uh, not No Way Home. At the end of Far From Home. So... I am incredibly excited about this. I'm excited to see what happens. I know. I mean, I know we're gonna get Doctor Strange. I freaking love Doctor Strange in this. So, like, let's do it. The possibility and potential for this is incredible. We haven't even got a trailer yet, and it's already a lot of people's most anticipated. And for me, it's my most anticipated film for the rest of this year. But again, let me know down below in the comments what is your most anticipated film for the rest of this year. I'd love to hear it. Um, there's a lot of great films coming out. I didn't even mention all of them. I mean, there, there's a lot that I couldn't even remember that are coming out later this year. Now, I did not, I did not mention Black Widow, and the reason why is because. Let me look at my schedule. Uh, if everything pans out, which I hope it does, fingers crossed, you will have seen my Black Widow review yesterday i will have already seen it so i'm not including that one on here because the potential is that i have already seen it and you've already seen my review but if i haven't then yes i am anticipating black Widow. it looks awesome i'm really excited to see it but guys that is pretty much it thank you so much for watching again comment down below what is your favorite uh not your favorite your most anticipated movie for the rest of this year and make sure you subscribe if you've not already uh, i really would appreciate it we are trying to climb to a thousand subscribers it really does mean the world and guys that's pretty much it Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.